Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jonathan. Today I'm going to be talking to you about why your Facebook ads aren't working and the steps you can take to solve these issues. Alright, so I'm just going to be talking about Facebook ads and why people think they don't work, right? That's really funny to me because Facebook is an advertising platform. They literally made the platform so that people can come on the platform to spend money and they can earn revenue from it. So the fact that uh, their advertising platform is not working is absolutely, is absolutely false. It's an advertising platform that works and you just need to know how to market more effectively, uh, especially when the Facebook advertising costs are going up. So people think you can just uh, spend a bunch of money and then you put it into Facebook ads, right? You run some PPE ads, some engagement ads, or maybe some conversion ads and traffic ads, and like immediately you get results from your Facebook ads, but that's absolutely not true, right? You need to be uh, strategic in your ad spend, right? There's no such thing as an unlimited marketing budget. So what you need to be like really, really um, focused on is number one, you need to have a good ad. So you need to have an enticing offer, good ad copy, as well as a, a good video or a good photo, preferably a good video, something that's engaging, right? So that's number one. That's just the, the basic, most prerequisite thing. The second thing would be have, being very strategic in your ad spend. So you before even starting your ad spend, uh, so you just need to have a strategy in place. So what I mean by strategy would be, for example, I have this 30 day period, right? If I am able to spend uh, $500 or $1,000, I need to know how much money is going where and how am I going to execute my plan, right? So for example, if I was starting out just a new store or if I was starting literally a new uh, retail uh, selling e-com or a service or starting a new brand, literally selling anything new in the product, after installing your Pixel, your Pixel has zero data. Right? So you really need to keep that in mind and you really need to uh, understand that you really need to buy, essentially buy data from Facebook first and then you can do uh, the, the magic, right? The money comes afterwards. So there's often an investment time that people uh, think that Facebook ads aren't working because it's not getting them the results. But in the matter of fact is you're just driving cold traffic in the first place. So you can't expect results from cold traffic, obviously, because the people don't know you, they don't trust you, uh, they, they look at your brand, they see your products. I mean, it could be cool, it could be engaging, they click on it, but they may not buy it at that, at that point in time, right? So digital marketing is so powerful because you can constantly nudge and nudge and nudge people, right? As opposed to retail advertising where you, you, you're just, for example, uh, putting out a poster putting out a newspaper, putting out something like in a cinema and someone sees it, there's no way to measure it. There's no way to get back the customer and get back the attention that you need to advertise to them again. So people need to understand like the power of digital uh, marketing is not, not only if it's uh, from its reach, right? You need to understand that you're able to retarget these customers over and over again because this data has been already been collected. You have already personally bought it with your own money in a sense, right? So the you need to understand that acquiring more customers is not the way to go. You need to retarget your audiences, right? So for example, uh, if I had one month, right? Like, right the, the first month, the absolute first month of starting the business, like what, what, what would I do, right? So I will immediately get my best ad copy, uh, get my uh, best videos, get my best photos and uh, take around two to three variations of that. Right? So I'll take, uh, for example, one photo, I'll take one video and I'll take an, uh, another video. For example, it, it could be very, very similar, but it has to be uh, different in some way. So I'll split test that. So I'll split test uh, th these three things. I'll split test uh, these two things. And then I will run uh, basically a PPE ad or video, uh, video views ad. This is very, very important because um, getting the video views um, uh, retargeting feature is much more ch uh, is much cheaper than getting a, a PPE retarget because to ac actually entice someone to come on your, your post and to comment it and to like it or to share it, right? It's, it's, it's harder than for someone to just to scroll through the Facebook feed, for example, and just watch 25, 50% of their video. So I feel that um, you can literally just spend all your ad spend in the first month right just on video views so you're just spending spending collecting as much data as possible and then as you transition uh i guess to uh when you get a significant amount of data right i'm not sure how where's your location what type of uh, business you're running but generally after you get a, a quite a sizable amount right maybe 
30,000 or 50,000 uh, video views from the 25% to 50% mark, then afterwards, then you go and retarget, it, retarget these people. And because you have purchased this data, right, what you're doing here, right, so uh, after the first month, you've already gotten uh, 30 to 50,000 people to, to, to see in your video. So you've got this running in the background. Concurrently, you start retargeting these people with another ad, another offer. So you, you, you offer like a discount on your existing product or you perhaps offer an upsell something else uh, in addition uh, to, the, the, to, the, to the starting product that you wanted to sell in the first place. So in that, you're already enticing people to hear here I have a product that uh, I'm really, really proud of and I, I want you to buy, but I understand you're not buying, right? So then I, I, I just hit you with, an, with another retargeting ad. A very, something that's smart to do, right? It's, so for example, for the first ad, you may not sell, right? You just show the product, don't uh, try to be aggressive on the ad copy. And then on the second ad, on the your retargeting ad, then you start, you start being aggressive, then you're offering your discounts, uh, your promotions, etc., etc. Okay, so, what I need you to understand, or if you're an advertiser right now, uh, if you're whatever, drop shipping, if you are, you just want more customers for your business. Don't expect your ad spend to just generate instant results, right? People keep showing uh, the results of the Facebook ads and that's because uh, they, they have to be strategic, right? You can't just pour like $300 on your, your Facebook ads and expect it, expect it to work. You need to be strategic and there are things and optimizations that you need to go through before you can really see the results that you want to see, okay? So a lot of people are uh, putting and wasting a lot of money and also um, leaving a lot of money on the table at the same time because they are not already reusing the data that they have from what they have already bought from. I hope you've gained some value from uh, watching this video and uh, implement these strategies uh, in your business as well to grow, to really grow your business. If you like this type of content, I'll be producing much more of it uh, on this channel. So subscribe down below. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.